When national champion Sean Ray and U.S. champion Sean Jenkins won their titles, you know they had at least one thing in common. They both had put in countless hours of serious off-season strength training to achieve their remarkable size. Today they share their thoughts as they train together in preparation for another contest season. Four, four miles. Five, six, seven, eight, come on. Good one. Ten. Good one. Good one. All right. Hi, I'm Sean Paul Jenkins. And I'm Sean Ray. Today we're going to take you through our off-season no-nonsense workout. We're going to go back to the basics and reconstruct our overall physique. I'm myself I'm 19 weeks out from the Pro USA. And I'm currently 10 weeks out from the Arnold Classic held in Columbus, Ohio. So sit back and follow us to our next workout. It's time to get busy. Let's go. Okay, our next exercise, right. we're going to move to tricep push-downs, okay. which creates Ready? overall wait, thickness wait, wait, for your wait, wait. triceps. Okay, now, you might notice that Sean is stepping on my feet, and the reason why he's doing this is to, to prevent me from swaying, too, so I can concentrate more on using my triceps to move the weight. Now, what I'm thinking here is fully con contracting the tricep and nothing but power. I want to control the weight. I don't want it to control me. Good. felt kind of light. Light to you. <laughs> Now, right. before I step in, I'm thinking one thing. Ripped shoes, big huh? triceps. <laughs> this exercise creates a okay, horseshoe okay, effect when you're standing in the lineup and before you do your tricep pose on. on stage. Two, three, good. I squeeze Four, at the bottom on. and stretch at the Five, top. Right now, I'm concentrating six, with all my might to seven, squeeze the tricep. Eight, come on. Nine, two, ah. six, seven. Let's do it then. Now we move over to a shoulder exercise where we demonstrate how to do side laterals. Before I start, let me make a comment. In powerlifting, it's not so you use your mind and your body. You really have to make sure that your mind and body are one. Let me give you an example of controlled rage. Right. Now what I mean by controlled rage, we want to focus our energy towards the body part that we're working. You want to create an energy flow and almost as if you want to explode. Now watch what I do right here. I start the movement very slow and strict, and then as the momentum builds, I feel as if I'm getting ready to explode. Now what I'm doing here, I'm making sure that my elbows are high, my form is relatively good. I'm swinging somewhat because the weight is a little bit heavy, but I'm feeling everything that I'm doing at this point. And now it's my turn. Okay, this next exercise we're doing is dumbbell shrugs. It's a nice finishing exercise for the shoulders, and a good warm-up for our monstrous back exercise we're going to show you next. Now, as you'll notice, I'm strapping up. This enables me to concentrate on lifting the weights instead of holding them. Now, in this exercise, what I try to do is squeeze it all the way up, almost to my ears, and stretch it at the bottom. This allows for complete contraction. Create the illusion of a mountain peak, especially for my favorite pose, the most muscular, where my traps literally jump off of my shoulders. Now we move on to bent rows. Now this exercise creates overall thickness in your back. One of the main points here is full range of motion. And as we bring the weight up to the top, you want to make sure that you print your shoulder blades together to, to overemphasize the pull. Now as I step onto the block, I'm thinking one thing, thickness. This is the basic fundamental exercise for back thickness. As you'll notice, I'm arching just a little bit. This allows to get the lower back as well as the upper back in the middle part. One tip, stretch and squeeze. That's all you need to know. Now for a final exercise, we move over to hack squats. Now hack squats works the overall leg not only the quadricep, but also works the hamstring indirectly. Now, depending upon your leg position here, it isolates on certain, certain parts of the quad. What we're doing here is working basic overall muscularity so our legs are close together. Now you'll notice the amount of weight Sean and I are using are not that heavy, as we make sure that we're thoroughly warmed up, usually two or three sets. On this exercise, you want to make sure that you don't bounce at the bottom and lock out at the top, as this puts a lot of stress on the knees and the joints. One small tip, when you start lifting heavy weights, you may want to wrap the knees just for safety purposes. Squeeze them out. 
So that's it. That was an example of our off-season training system. Just remember, it takes a smart mind to build professional physique. And it takes big weights to build big muscle. Word. So I'm Sean Paul Jenkins. And I'm Sean Ray. From Muscle Magazine. Get, Get busy. busy. <laughs> Perhaps next...